Hey, Fit Fam, Coach Russo here with You'll Be Fit Forever. Today, purple shirt only stretching. Now, you want to take the time, invest these 25 minutes to work on your stretching for one simple reason. You're going to feel amazing after. I absolutely guarantee that, okay? So in today's stretching class, we're going to be working on all these nerves in the upper body, okay? Quick science lesson. Please, please, please follow through. The nerves, they innervate, meaning they start in your spine, okay? So the nerves in our neck and our shoulders, they start in our upper back and also in our neck. However, if your lower part of your spine is out of position, your middle part and therefore your upper part and therefore all parts are out of alignment. So in exercise therapy, we really focus a lot on what's called the shoulder girdle, but I'm learning that if your pelvis, not your hips, your pelvis is out of position, then there is literally no chance you can get your upper body in the right position. So we're gonna spend some time today working on our pelvicular position, if that's even a thing, it is, and then we're gonna start to get into the head and we're gonna do what's called flossing the nerve, which makes you feel amazing, okay? I will be doing most of this on the floor in a seated position. If you cannot sit on the floor, first of all, I highly recommend you learn how to, but if you cannot comfortably go ahead, get a chair, you'll be able to do everything comfortably in the chair. Okay, you also will need a mat. So we're gonna start on the mat without the chair, gonna align our pelvis, and then we'll move into the seated position, okay? So go ahead, grab everything, and let's get started. Welcome to the floor, folks. Doot, 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 doot. Let's go ahead and lay flat on our backs, and we're going to get this pelvis in the correct position. All right, so up first, we're going to be ah, in the supine position. Both feet are going to be flat. Knees are slightly bent. Now, I want you to maintain a little bit of a curve in your back, right? Not an excessive curve, not completely flat like core power, just a little bit of an arch. You should be able to stick your hands underneath your back, okay? Now, you've got these bones on your hips right here, your hip bone, your pelvis bone. We call those the elephant ears, okay? We want those elephant ears turning inward, which is actually straight, which will kind of get my knees in the proper alignment. Okay, we're gonna breathe in. Exhale, grab your left leg, pull in your chest. Grab underneath the knee and gently pull back. Two keys to success, okay? This right hip, don't let it fall outward, keep it inward. And this left leg, you wanna gently guide it towards the center. Okay, I like to do some ankle movements here on my left foot, point and flex. If you haven't learned the supine groin stretch, you need to go back and watch the other stretching videos. Also, we'll be coming out with a blog post with one of the best exercises, which is that supine groin stretch. Okay, we're gonna breathe in, inhale. Exhale, straighten the right leg out, but don't straighten it all the way. Keep the knee slightly bent in this extended position. Let's go ahead, ankle circles to the right with the left leg. Now make sure that right hip is coming into a straight position. Make sure you still have your curve. How many things can you do at once? A lot. <laughs> okay, stop, breathe in. Exhale, fully extend the right leg, so fully straight and make sure the right toe is pointed upwards and let's go ankle circles the other direction. Huh. Doot, 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 breathe. Okay, inhale. Exhale, we're bending the right knee, replace, and we're gonna switch legs, okay? So breathe in, inhale. Exhale, reaching, grabbing the right leg. Make sure that right hip stays in. Make sure the left hip is straight. And we're gonna point and flex the ankle. So this alignment therapy has been my new discovery, even though it's an ancient secret. It has the power to solve most of your orthopedic issues, and I promise you that. Okay, breathe in and exhale, extend the left knee, left leg slightly bent and let's go ankle circles to the right. Now, if you do your alignment therapy and you still have orthopedic problems, do your stretching. If you still have orthopedic, meaning bone problems, you need to improve your diet and lower those inflammation levels. Okay, breathe in and exhale, fully extend the left leg. Make sure that left hip is pointing up, make sure that left toe is pointing up and you're gonna switch directions. I've also recently discovered that when you are stressed out, your digestion gets worse. I've been doing a lot of sparring and boxing, which is obviously very stressful, and my digestion actually suffered. Hmm, interesting. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, both feet flat. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is from here, I want you to straighten your left leg out 
and lock the knee. Now, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna pull your left toe back, keep your left pelvis, that pelvis rolled in. Okay, you're gonna hold. Now, you can grab the leg. Some people like to grab the pant. There's no need to get it all the way back right now. Just let it stretch, making sure your hips are in line. Okay, you're gonna breathe in. You're gonna do the same thing with that right leg is you're gonna extend it out, not all the way straight, slightly straight. Okay. Is my lower back still curved? Ooh, I'm losing my curve a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm tight. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, fully straighten the right leg out. Make sure you still have your curve. Make sure your left leg is straight. Oh my. <laughs> you can tell my hamstrings are a little tight. <laughs> That's why we stretch. Okay, breathe in. Exhale and relax and replacing both legs. So what I've noticed is people to get their legs all the way back in the hamstring stretch is they flatten out their lower back. So keep a nice little curve, okay? So breathe in and exhale, straighten out the right leg. Make sure you keep your curve. You're gonna hold, I'm gonna like grab my pant or something across here. Now, traditionally we would roll up a towel and put it on our spine, but I'm finding with a lot of my more senior clients that the towel actually aggravates their spine. So we've been trying to just neurologically, meaning using our brain, keep that arch very challenging. Okay, you're gonna breathe in, inhale. Exhale, extend the left leg, keeping the knee bent slightly and hold. I don't know if you guys can tell my leg is shaking. <laughs> Hammies. Okay, good. Okay, right here. Hold, breathe in, inhale. Exhale, fully extend the, the, the left leg. Jeez. Keeping that arch, keeping both legs. Three, two, one, and relax. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna roll onto our left side. We're gonna come into mermaid, meaning we're on our left elbow here. Okay, for mermaid, extend that top hip out, stretch it. Now I started in mermaid because I wanna keep this hip in this lengthened position. But we're actually gonna come into what I call pillow. So you're gonna lay on this shoulder. The reason I call it pillow is I make like a little pillow with my arm. Okay, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in, inhale. Make sure the hip is long, make sure your back's extended. You're gonna reach behind you and grab your ankle. See how my knee came way up? You wanna keep your knee down, okay? Keeping the knee down, what that allows for is I can keep my pelvis in this position. And I wanna take that top hip and I wanna lengthen it. See I'm lengthening that top hip? These are the little details that if you skip over while you stretch, you're missing out on the power of the alignment. So I'm not diving deep into the form to harass you guys. This stuff's really important. It makes the stretching more effective because when we're done, we're gonna be in alignment. Okay, if you wanna get a little more stretch, pull it back a little more. Okay, breathe in, inhale, and exhale, release. Ah, let's take a little nap. Okay, we're back. All right, I'm gonna show you guys from the back, okay, from the other side, and what we're gonna do, okay, is I'm gonna roll this way so you guys can see on the other side, you'll see the microphone in my pocket. Hello, the power of audio, okay? So look, I'm gonna start in Mermaid. Now notice here, right, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna extend that top hip like this, lengthening my QL. Okay, keep that going. I'm gonna lay flat in pillow. Pillow, okay, keep this top hip long. You're gonna breathe in, inhale. You're gonna exhale, reach behind you. Now you see my knee might come up so I can grab the ankle. I wanna get that knee immediately down. So some people have tight quads, so they're not gonna be able to get their knee all the way back, but they should be able to grab their ankle. You also, your heel might touch your, not touch your butt, it might be out this way a little more. But keep that knee down, keep that top hip so you don't shrink it up. Keep it long, right here's good. I can feel this in my left shoulder a little bit. Okay, holding, relaxing. Okay, hold, hold. Okay, we're gonna breathe in, inhale. We're gonna exhale. Good. And release the leg, keeping the top hip long. I want you guys to roll, just very briefly, okay? We're gonna roll onto our stomachs. Now you guys know this one is called Baby Cobra. So, I'm gonna be down on my forearms. Sorry, I hit the mic. I'm gonna Keep arching, a little arch in my back. I'm gonna bring my ribs up, bring my shoulder blades back, I'm gonna hold. Now I'm not really pushing with my forearms a lot, I'm pushing a little bit. I'm more imagining my sternum, that front bone, dropping through, extending the mid back. Okay, now look, your pelvis, don't let it roll out. Keep them rolled in. 
Okay, breathe in. Exhale, you're gonna push a little more with your arms. Push and hold. Good. Dropping your sternum. Breathing in. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down, okay? What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna breathe in. We're gonna go into full cobra. Inhale, exhale all the way up, okay? Now in cobra, I don't wanna be using my hands a lot, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my shoulders back and I'm gonna be dropping my sternum forward, stretching my abdominal, okay? Okay, from here, hold. This might be a little uncomfortable. Feel in your lower back, just don't go quite as low. You can tell. Oh, I'm pretty flexible going this way. Okay, you're gonna breathe in, inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up for lizard. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Push your hips back to your heels. Move your hands back. Child's pose. Okay. Now I know child's pose in yoga, they bring their hands behind us. I like to use my hands to generate downward force on my sacrum, getting a little more traction through the spine. Okay, hold, we're gonna breathe in, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna come up. Okay, my head might get cut off a little bit, this happens. All right, I'm gonna breathe in, inhale. We're in prayer, this is called prayer. I'm gonna exhale, I'm bringing my left leg forward into kneeling lunge, okay? From kneeling lunge, squeeze your right glute, my left leg's forward. Take those elephant ears, turn them inward, hold and stretch. Okay, breathe in, exhale, switch legs. Okay, hold, in and stretch. So this is my right leg, I'm firing my left glute, I'm turning both hips, those, ele I like calling them elephant ears. Sorry, I think my head's a little cut off. We wanna keep the logo intact. Okay, breathe in, inhale. Good, exhale. If you guys know any men's purple shoes, let me know, because <laughs> the kind of black shoes get lost on the mat. All right, long story short. Okay, inhale, good. Exhale. All right. So if you need a chair, go ahead, grab the chair. I'll give you a few seconds. I am going to be seated on the floor. Okay. So get your chair. Now, a huge part of why our bodies deteriorate is we stop getting on the floor at a certain age. Okay. The floor has magical powers magical powers. Really just allows our sacrum and our hips to be more open, okay? I'm gonna sit cross-legged, okay? If you can't sit cross-legged, there's another position called diamond where my knees are out at 90 degree angles. This is called diamond, it's for a ballet stretch. I just prefer cross-legged, it's a little more comfortable for me, okay? All right, now we're gonna be working in the upper cavity. So, first of all, you wanna make sure you're not rolling your spine back and slouching, okay? We talked about that, I think, Monday. All right, so look, I'm not flexing my lumbar, I'm actually rolling forward. And when I teach this, I'll actually have my clients lean forward a little bit and then imagine you're in cobra and flaring the ribs gently. It's going to be an active position, okay? We're not just chilling on the floor, hanging out. We're active, okay? So we're here. And shout out to Brian Yoga for, Brian Yoga, Brian Campbell, Forest Yoga. He taught me a lot of these. Okay, so I'm, I'm up but nice and tall. And what I'm do is I'm gonna take my left hand, your right hand, and you're gonna place it gently on the ground with your fingers facing away from you. Okay, this is gonna open that shoulder up. I'm gonna breathe in. I'm gonna roll that shoulder back, your right shoulder back, squeezing the shoulder blade like we worked on yesterday. Okay, you're gonna inhale. You're gonna lean your, shoulder, your head away from that shoulder, so to your left ear to shoulder, and you're gonna feel this massive stretch right here. We're starting to open up right here, the trapezius. We're also flossing the nerve, okay? So inhale, exhale, bring the head back to straight. Inhale, make sure your posture is nice. Exhale, bring the shoulder back to the ear, hold. Inhale, exhale, back to center, good. Okay, breathe in, inhale. Exhale, repeat, ear to shoulder. Now drop your chin down towards the floor like you're looking at your knees. Hold. Breathe in. Exhale and recover. Okay, let's do the same thing the other side. Your left, so bring your left hand down, fingers are facing away. Hold. Inhale. Exhale, roll that top shoulder back. Okay. Now from here we're gonna breathe in, inhale. Exhale, dropping ear to shoulder. Hold. We haven't fun yet. I am. Okay, back to center. Good, breathe in. Exhale, dropping your ear to your shoulder. Hold. 
I'm not really doing the exhaling because it blows out the microphone, but I'm doing the inhales. Okay, back to center, breathe in, inhale. Exhale, ear to shoulder. Now I'm gonna drop my chin down, looking straight down. Good, holding. Okay, breathe in, inhale. Exhale and back to center. Nice job, okay? So that's preparing us for the next flossing tick. Flossing, flossing just means like open up the nerves. So I'm gonna take my, your right arm, I'm gonna bring it out at the side, okay? My shoulder's down, everything's relaxed. Now I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm gonna pull them back towards me. Okay, now you might have a tendency is this, your right arm might have been coming forward, so I'm gonna roll my shoulder back and make sure it's in line with my ear, use my peripherals. Okay, now pull your fingers back as much as you can, inhale, and then exhale, relax the arm, or the hand. Okay, now breathe in, inhale, exhale, pull the fingers back, pull, 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 hold. Now while holding here, inhale, we're gonna what? Drop your ear to your shoulder, hold, breathe in, exhale, bringing both down together. The shoulder might fatigue a little bit. It's good for the rotator cuff. Let's go ahead and do the other side, okay? So breathe in, inhale. Exhale, bring the left arm out. Now make sure your left shoulder blade's back, okay? Otherwise, this hand's gonna be drifting forward. You're gonna roll it back, okay? You're gonna breathe in. Exhale, pull the fingers back, hold. Breathe in and release, good. All right, here we go, add the neck, breathe in. Exhale, pull the fingers back, hold. Just squeezing your shoulder blade, inhale. Exhale, dropping ear to shoulder, hold. Very nice. Holding. Okay, breathe in. Exhaling both together. Woo, you feel it? All right, let's amp it up, you guys ready? <laughs> okay. Woo, all right, so right arm out. Now what you're gonna do, roll that shoulder blade back, take your fingers, roll them down, breathe in, exhale, pull the fingers back towards you, oh, big stretch, and take that left thumb, or your right thumb, and make sure it's opening. Now look, your shoulder's gonna wanna roll back, just open it up, big stretch. Breathe in, exhale, release the fingers. Okay, breathe in, here we go, inhale. Exhale, fingers go towards the floor, opening with the thumb. Okay, rolling that left, right shoulder back, breathe in. Exhale, shoulder to ear, hold it. Breathe in, exhale, releasing everything together. Good, nice job. That's a big stretch. It's great for if you guys sit or type a lot. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, I'm up to like 80 words a minute in case you're wondering. <laughs> Blind arrogance, okay. True story, fast typer, okay. <sighs> Here we go, left arm out. Okay, breathe in. You're gonna turn that shoulder, rolling that shoulder back, bring your fingers down, breathe in. Exhale, pulling the fingers back, making sure that right, left thumb is open all the way. Good. Okay, hold. Breathe in. Exhale, releasing the fingers. Very nice. Okay, now from here, we're gonna breathe in. Exhale, dropping the fingers down, hold. You're gonna breathe in again. Exhale, dropping ear to shoulder, holding. Bringing those fingers, rolling shoulder back. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, releasing both together. Very nice. Okay, to release the spine, kind of round it out a little bit. Ooh, sitting on the floor is fun. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, coming up. Okay, so now what you can do is with your hand, you're gonna bring your thumb in and you're gonna wrap your fingers around. We're gonna get this nerve right here, okay? Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, thumb in. Okay, now you're gonna breathe in. Exhale, both arms out. Imagine you're holding two pitchers of beer. Non-alcoholic beer, I don't know. Usually they say lemonade, but pitchers of beer, usually a little more common. Okay, you're gonna breathe in, inhale. Now exhale, you're gonna pour the pitchers out, dropping those thumbs down, feeling a big stretch, rolling shoulder blades back, holding. You're gonna inhale, exhale, release the thumbs, spread all the fingers as wide as you can. I want you to breathe in, exhale, bringing the hands forward and down. 
Okay, we're gonna do a little bit for the hands, very important. Okay, you're gonna go palms up. I'm gonna put my elbows on my knees just to relax. Now look, you're gonna go pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. Thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky. Or I think it's in piano, I think it's five, four, three, two, one, or zero, one, two, three, four, I don't know. So, and then you're gonna roll them in, roll them out. Roll them in, roll them out. Making sure you're focusing on your hands. French horn only has three rotors and a, and a thumb. They call the rotor, anyways. I digress, okay, keep working that. Now, if you're feeling good and you got those, what you're gonna do is, as your pinky's going, you're gonna roll your hands over, ending with your thumbs, and then as your thumbs go out, roll. In and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in. This is from Z Performance. Shout out to my boy, Coach Barrett. Taught me all these flossings. Okay, so I'm nice and tall. Now, should I show you guys the event? Uh, well, the other one is you go all the way around. We won't do that one today. Okay, nice job, folks. I want to do a little bit for the chest opener, the sternum, heart opening, a little breathing. Okay, did I just say heart opening? Oh my God, I'm turning into yoga. Okay, so what we're gonna do is grab your knees. If you're on the chair, same thing. I want you to inhale, hold it, exhale. Okay, now when you inhale, I want you to flare your ribs. Imagine your sternum sticking out, really aggressive flare. Okay, breathe in, inhale. Flare, 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 flare. Exhale, release, go around, and I'm gonna round my back. Okay, so from here I'm gonna breathe in, inhale, flare the ribs. Flare, 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 flare. And exhale, release, good. We're gonna breathe in, inhale. And exhale, release, good. Bowing the head forward, good, very nice. Okay, I just wanna end something a little bit different, okay? We're gonna end with a breathing exercise, okay? Now, the breathing exercise is just gonna be in for four, hold for four, out for four. Working on our nice tall posture, I want you to imagine breathing in through all the ribs and exhaling, okay? Work on relaxation, work on stress management, right? Just releasing, stress defense, releasing, okay? So let's do it together, we're gonna do four breaths, okay? In for four, hold for four, out for four, I'm gonna count, ready? So here we go, breathe in, 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 hold, two, three, four, in, out, out, three, four, release, two, here we go, breathe in, in, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, out, two, three, four, get ready for the third breath, breathe in, 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 hold, two, three, four, in, out, 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 hold for the last breath. Breathe in, 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 hold, two, three, four, in, out, two, three, four, release, shake it out. All right, let's do our closing breaths on the floor. Great job today, so we're gonna breathe in, inhale, hands go red, and exhale. Inhale together, exhale, good, breathing in. Exhale, diving in the pool, hands come forward, bowing the head down. Reflect on your efforts today, folks. If you've invested this time, you probably feel pretty good. You should psychologically also feel pretty good because you did some work, you put in some effort for your health. Okay, go ahead and roll up. All right, folks, work on complete. Nice job today. Thank you for staying through. I can promise you, you probably feel a lot better. These stretching workouts will have a lasting effect throughout the day because we're working so much on the alignment, not necessarily what I call power stretching, just trying to get a lot of flexibility. Okay, we're moving forward, folks. Slow and steady wins the race. I am looking to launch the video subscription website very, very soon. I feel like the videos are now at a quality where they should be invested in, mostly to motivate you guys and also generate enough profits to where I can employ someone to help me get this even bigger and even better because 
though you guys know me and most of you do, there are a lot of people who don't and there are a lot of seniors out there whose workouts have been canceled or disappeared or worse, just are doing nothing. And if we can bring this education, bring this content, you guys can help them and bring this to them, that is just gonna have an amazing impact on their lives. I'm seeing it every single day with you guys. So thank you, FitFam. You are awesome. Looking forward to growing this project and moving forward. As always, if you have any questions at all, at all, any questions, just feel free to message me. A lot of what you're seeing in the workouts comes from questions that people are asking. Okay. So with that, tomorrow is lower body blue shirt workout. We're going to keep going with our hip alignment therapy. We're going to be strengthening our legs, protecting the knees and the lower back. All right. Looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. As always, I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever. Peace.